Good morning everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're going to walk through how to download the WebEx software and join a meeting that you've been invited to. So if you get invited to a meeting, you're going to see an email similar to this. Uh, it basically has the date and time right here and telling you who, it, who invited you to this meeting and a big green join meeting button. So we're going to click on that join meeting button. Now, if you don't see this join meeting button or if you don't get your email in this particular format, there's also this blue line down here. It's basically the same thing. You can either click on that or you can click on this blue line. We're just going to click on the join meeting button and it's going to take us to the Internet. Now, if you've ever used WebEx on your computer, you're going to get this box that asks if you want to open WebEx. If you don't have WebEx on the computer, that box isn't going to do anything. So I just click open in WebEx just to get rid of that box. But what you're going to do is you're going to go down here and click on download it now. So we click download it now. And in the lower right hand corner, if you're using Google Chrome, you're going to get this message that says that this file may harm your computer. That's OK. It is a security warning from Microsoft don't worry about it it's not going to harm your computer just click on keep and when that blue circle stops flashing i can click on this button right here to say uh, just click it once and it starts the program right now it's installing the software into my computer and you know this it, it takes a while it can take up to three minutes or so depending on how fast your computer is. So I recommend that while you're uh, probably about five minutes before you're supposed to be on the meeting, click on the link and start downloading the software if you don't already have WebEx on your computer. And if, if you read these things as they're going across the screen, they kind of make it fun. You know, it's preparing the meeting, it's setting up the room, I believe it said something about yeah gathering chairs and hanging the whiteboard it makes it kind of fun to uh, just sit here and read this while it's installing so it's going to go through its process and uh, it's almost done okay so now it is done setting up the software and it tells me that I'm ready to join the meeting that I'm looking for. It always asks for your name and your email address. Now, so the first time, let's say my name is Timmy Turner and my email address is Timmy at gmail.com. Now, if I leave this button checked that says, remember me, Every time I use this software, so long as I don't uninstall it, every time I use the software to join a meeting, I won't have to fill that in because it will already be there. So then I just hit join as guest because I am not the, the uh, presenter. And now you're not actually joining right now. What it's doing here is it's, as you can see, it says, stop video which means my camera's on now I don't have my camera open at the present moment so that's why you see a gray screen if you actually had your camera on it would actually show you a uh, preview of what you're gonna look like when you're in the meeting and if you notice right here it says mute which means this is my microphone and this is my camera because it's hearing me and these green this green light is there and because it says stop video, it's sensing that it's found those two things. If you don't want your camera on, you just click stop video. And now my camera disappeared and the initials for what I typed in. And you get a red camera with a line through it. That means your camera's off. And I can do the same thing with my microphone. I can hit that and I'll get a red microphone with a line through it. That means I'm muted. But now that I've tested everything and it's all set the way I want it, now I hit join meeting. And now you can see that I'm actually in the meeting. There's the host right here and I'm right here. And if anybody else was in the meeting, it would just show up. Um, it would show a square and the squares would be 
different sizes depending on how many people were in the meeting. And that is a pretty much how you go through and install the WebEx software to join a meeting. Now, if you're in the meeting and you have to leave before the uh, presenter or the host closes the meeting for everybody, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this red uh, circle with the X in it, and then you're going to click on Leave Meeting. And when the software disappears, you have left the meeting. Uh, now, one thing that you've I've, I've noticed with this software, and see this pops up after I leave the meeting, when you install the software as a guest of the meeting, it automatically sets it up to run WebEx every time you turn the computer on. So you are going to have to go into your system and tell it don't run at startup. And uh, I'll go through that in a, a later video how to turn programs off that run uh, when the computer starts up. But that is how you use WebEx and how you install and join as a guest.